In this problem, we introduce the idea of the capital recovery factor. Pause the video, read the question, and when you're ready to see the solution, restart the video. So in this problem, we learn about a company that's uh, wishing to make an investment in a piece of equipment. And the hope is that that piece of equipment will have certain, a certain payback over a term of five years. So what we get from the problem is the amount of the investment, sometimes we call that a capital investment, uh, and what we'd like to know are what are the savings that, are need, that need to be produced by this equipment that are exactly equivalent to the initial investment. So like in most problems, I like to start by drawing a cash flow diagram. So we know the duration of this problem is five years. We also know that the initial investment, remember investment means money coming out of our pocket, we're going to have to pay to buy this equipment. We know that the initial investment is $5,000 and that will be our P in the time value of money um, way of speaking. Now the savings that, that occur each year we can represent as an up arrow and we'll represent that as an up arrow at the end of each of the years. It may be that the savings occur throughout the year but for the time value of money calculation purposes we'll place the savings at the end of each year. This type of uniform series we refer to as an annuity or A and the task in this problem is quite simply what is the value of A given that we already have the value of P and in order to calculate it we'll need to multiply by some compound interest factor. Now we also learn in this problem that the value of the interest rate is 8% and it doesn't really say anything about compounded monthly or compounded um, semi-annually. -annual, it's essentially an 8% compounded yearly number. So the time value of money uh, equation or our uh, compound interest factor is quite simply the A given P factor for a certain interest rate and a certain number of years. And in this problem, these numbers would be 5,000 times A given P for an interest rate of 8% and five time periods, or in this case, five years. So if we work out what that is, 5,000 times the A given P factor for 8% and 5. Now you can go to a compound interest table. Because this is a nice round number of 8%, we should be able to find an 8% interest table. We look for the row corresponding to 5 years, and we look in the A given P column. And if we do that, you should come up with a factor of 0.2505. We multiply that by 5,000, we end up with the value of the annual savings as $1,252.50. So this is the value of the savings that have to occur each year in order for this investment to completely pay for itself. And this is really based around the idea of equivalence. So what we've done is essentially figure out what are the five equal payments over five years that are equivalent to an initial investment amount of $5,000. Now, we can make this calculation quite easily using a, a factor from a table because we happen to have a nice round number, 8%. But just in the interest of completeness, um, if we don't have um, a nice round interest factor, it's nice to know to note that the, um, the A given P factor, let's say the A given P factor for I and N, if we had to use a formula to calculate that, the formula is actually I times 1 plus I 
to the n divided by 1 plus i to the n minus 1. And uh, if you'd like to test yourself, try plugging in the numbers here for n equal to 5, i equal to point zero 0.08, and just make sure that you can calculate for yourself a value of 0 0.2505. Anyway, this is how we calculate um, or how we use something called the capital recovery factor.